Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hey. Yes, we can hear you. We can um, see you too. Okay, that's great. Hi, it's good to see you again. How are you? We are fine. What about you? I'm fine. Yeah, fine. Today, everything was fine. Um, okay. It was too hot, right? <laughs> it's too hot right now. Oh, it's too warm. I feel like I am in hell. So, um, nothing. That's that's my my. I can be a little bit complaining with it, um, uh, about the weather. Porque no me gusta el calor. Siento que se me pongo toda pegajosa. <laughs> y de mal humor, <laughs> cuando tengo calor, me pongo de mal humor porque se me pone pegajoso el pelo, y odio eso. So, yeah, we know. Yeah, right, it's like, you felt like, I don't know, um, pegajosito. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, but I think it was great for me. Um, I didn't... I didn't came I came out to my I didn't come out to my bed. Um it was like a really relaxed day and I just wake up sorry I just wake up so early because I needed to um to go out but the rest of the day I just exist on my bed. <laughs> Solo existía mi cama. Y ya. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, how was your day? How was your work? How was your family? How? Well, in my, in my case, uh, in the morning, I was in a meeting with my boss uh, all the morning and uh, the afternoon. We return to our office to mm -hmm. continue working because the meeting in the morning was in other place, not in my office. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it, but it was okay, and my family is okay too. Thank you very much. <laughs> A pleasure. <laughs> hey, um, do you do you have like um your meetings out of your office always? Like yes. in a restaurant or something like that. No, no, in another office belongs to the uh, Ministerio de la Defensa. You know where the, the Ministerio de la Defensa is near to MOP? Do you know where is the MOP? No, where is it? Ministerio de Obras Públicas. Mm, I, I don't you know are, where is it. When you are going from Salvador El Mundo on Manuel Enrique Arauz Avenue to Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Ministerio de la Defensa is in front of uh, Ministerio de Obras Públicas or MOP. Uh, I don't know where is it. I'm going to Google it. Oh, really? Yeah, also the other place near there is uh, baseball land, you know, uh, el estadio de, de baseball. Really? Donde era Hay un estadio you know? de baseball. Sí. I didn't know. You didn't know? <laughs> no, el I didn't know. El parque de pelotas que le llaman. Mm. No, I, I didn't know that we have uh um an stadium for that. Mm -hmm. No sé si se jugó. Yeah, that, is, uh -huh. that is the soccer. No, no, no. Uh, baseball. How do you say? Stadium. Baseball land or? Stadium. Baseball stadium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there. So I was in a meeting around there. Ah, uh, okay. I found it. I googled it, and I found it like near for the Mercado Nacional de Artesanías. Right, so, that's right. Right. Uh -huh, ya mm -hmm. me ubique, ahora sí. <laughs> yeah, I know where is it. I know where is it. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I already, 
I suppose that I already know it, but um, I didn't remember. Uh, ahorita que lo veo como en Google Maps, ya sé exactamente en qué calle es. Yeah, I know. It's like not so far from here. And it's muy lejos de aquí. Yeah. <laughs> so I was in a meeting over there. And you know, my office is in San Jacinto. Um, in where is your office? Like in El Museo del Zapote. Right. Over there. Oh my exactly. God. Okay. It sounds great. Um, you're you're working uh the in el museo. O sea, adentro hay mm -hmm. como oficinas, ¿cierto? Inside. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, right. That sounds great. I already we get this thing. Okay, good. <laughs> Yo oh, well. de... No sabía que aquí estaba el mop también. Ahí está. Ahí, a la, if you are going from Salvador Mundo to Santa Tecla, MOP is in your right. Okay, in my right. Uh -huh. En el mismo lado que Día el de Departamento de Defensa. Uh -huh. Ahí el Ministerio de Defensa. Ah, uh, Ministerio left. de Defensa. <laughs> Ahí está el Ministerio de Defensa y Estado Mayor. Okay, it sounds amazing. Uh, like you are moving in and um like it's not boring or something like that right yeah it's okay okay it, it's nice to work there okay i'm happy that you are happy for that it's always such a good thing when you are working in something that you really love or something that you enjoy because you can um um, you can do well you can do your best even if isn't a really good job but if you love it I think it's easier for us and we are like happier yeah, right. than when we mm -hmm. are doing something that we don't like and that's the reason why I am not working in a call center so de hecho es la razón por la que no trabajo en un call center porque yo siento que me va a afectar porque soy una persona bien llorona aquí entre nos <laughs> y me da miedo porque tengo varios amigos que trabajan en call centers y me dan como miedo a, a veces las historias que cuentan y yo digo yo me voy a poner a llorar y no voy a saber qué hacer so yeah. uh, I, I prefer to be a teacher it's my yeah right yeah I know the English but customer service isn't for me maybe if I don't find a job in my in my career um I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna um work in a call center, but it's not in my, on my plans, and I want to avoid it if I could. <laughs> si puedo, lo voy a evitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, call center is is very um, I think it's hard and also is stressful. I don't know. Yeah, of course they are. So I don't want to work in some place like that for my own mental health I put in propia salud mental well I hope everything of you are fine right now and I was checking off the um el manual del principiante I I I I missed the the reading but I really found it ya lo encontré lo había perdido um we're going to talk about, well, I'm going to introduce you the, ah, antes de, antes de introducirles el topic, quería recordarles que esta semana tienen que haber terminado todos el examen final y la sección número 5. Entonces no se les vaya a olvidar, siempre para el viernes a medianoche tiene que estar terminado, así como habíamos dicho y como hicimos las semanas anteriores, ¿ok? Solo para que okay. no se les olvide. Ok. Ok, thank you very much. Um, a pleasure. So I'm going to show you this screen. Tell me when you can see that. Reduce pronouns, pronunciation in models. Yeah, of course. Reduce pronunciations and models. We're going to see like, uh, uh this is gonna be like, um, the tense or the focus, the grammar focus for today. And we're going to talk about self and etiquette too. Like, yeah, 
this is for the reading and for um activity. So we're going to talk about reduced pronunciations in modals too, in modal verbs. So I don't know if you know about it, but when you are talking in English, well, I I I know I already told you that when the people talk in English, well, this language is like um it's like um like known, conocido, um, for the grammar, right? Because you use like, um, it it's like really context. So, uh, you you don't use like, um, too much words to say one thing, right? Like in Spanish, es como por ejemplo creo que esto ya lo mencionaba antes es el el español es una lengua romance. Y las lenguas romance tienden a ser un poco diversas en su lenguaje para poder armar una oración. Significa que usan como varias palabras para expresar. Somos quizás más descriptivos. Um, todo tiene un nombre propio en el español. A veces el inglés las cosas solo son palabras mezcladas, right? Because they use the context. Usan como el contexto. Entonces, prácticamente desarrollan... Eh, hablan lo menos que se puede. Por eso les he dicho que a veces cuando uno, como por ejemplo, va a, tra a traducir de un, un, un párrafo a inglés, del, del español al inglés, se hace como bien chiquito en inglés, porque se utiliza la menor cantidad de palabras posibles para explicar algo. Es tan contextual, tan visual, ¿sí? Que no requiere tantas, tantas palabras. So they have a lot, a lot of contractions. El inglés tiene una cantidad de contracciones que ni siquiera se pueden imaginar. Son muchísimas. Hay muchas, muchísimas contracciones en todos los tiempos del inglés. Sí, todas, me atrevo a decir de que hay más, de que hay, quizás hay más de alguna que no, pero la mayoría de los tens tiene alguna manera de reducirse o, o algún, um, por ejemplo, el modo al verbo que se puede reducir, perdón, el verbo to be que se puede eh, reducir de una sola vez con el sujeto y así. So we're going to see like reduced pronunci pronunciations in some modal verbs. Vamos a ver esta reducción de la pronunciación en los modal verbs. Que es como cuando se acuerdan que ayer estábamos hablando, no sé si fue en esta clase. Pero alguien me preguntó, si no fue en esta clase, pues alguien me preguntó en una clase ayer que cuál era la diferencia entre... Ay, se me fue la palabra. Ay, se me fue la idea. Um, like. Me estaban preguntando entre la diferencia entre los modal verbs, but that wasn't the point. I, I, I was talking about, like, in the pronunciation with the modal verbs, you can do some con um, contractions too. I'm sorry. So we're going to learn about it. And for the reading, we're going to see the cell phone etiquette. So we're going to start with the reading and I'm going to stop here. We're going to see the platform. Permítanme. Okay. We're going to see cell phone etiquette. This is an article and we're going to, this is like um, how to use a phone or where to use it um, and the places that you may use it and you may not, okay? So we're going to read about it. And I need two volunteers to help me to read. Necesito dos voluntarios que me ayuden a leer. You can raise your hand if you want to. Me, teacher. Okay, you're okay. going to read the first one. Okay. okay. What do you do is a situation like this. You are eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. You're having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man, a man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problem he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This uh, happens all the time on buses and restaurants ev everywhere. Continue until rules. Hasta aquí. 
Okay. Many people find cell phones use, useful in their day to day, day to day, day. But we will add that next to someone talking to lovely on a cell, a cell phone. You many want to tell the long more to end the conversation, but let the management take care of noise customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. Perfect. Thank you so much. This is like some situation, right? Because um, there is like a place in a restaurant. You can see like the image right here. They are like three persons sitting in this in this table and they are having a lunch or a dinner. I don't know what a breakfast, uh, but they are eating, right? And here is here is this man who is talking uh, with with his cell phone with someone else, of course, and he is talking about um like romantic problems about uh, his girlfriend and he's talking like too loud so it can um it can be annoying for some people like if they don't want to listen the conversation that other people is having uh, maybe sometimes maybe sometimes like el chisme right but um not always it's a good it's a good thing mm. right like for example if you are on the bus and someone is like texting with uh with someone and you are reading like the complete conversation in some and say like oh my god she's uh, he is cheating on her or something like that like you you uh you have the chisme right but um it's not always like a good thing for example when the people talk so slowly I have like some problems with that because of my TD, eh, of my TDA, el que es el, el trastorno por déficit de atención e hiperactividad. A veces hablo demasiado rápido y muy alto. So I have some problems with that, and sometimes I it it appears like I am screaming, but I am not screaming. I am just talking pretty loud, <laughs> but I swear that I am not screaming. So it, this is about this. This is a cell phone etiquette. That's a situation that Axia read. Okay, thank you so much. Who wants to continue with this? Con las reglas. Vicente, okay, go. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Could you please leave us soon? <laughs> yes. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Sorry, teacher, because. Uh... Don't worry. I know. I know. I know. Um, it it's pretty difficult to read it for me too. Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Okay. A uh, means of respect the rules of restaurant and other public places of a uh, sign say turn of your cell phone no 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 turn off cell phones don't use your phone aha uh -huh. important keep private conversation free bait speak softly and for a short time try to move away from other people important too light off phone off Never take calls in a theater or a, or at the movies. Oh my! Important. You're right. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous, of course. And watch where you are going when you are walking down the street and talking on the phone. Yeah, of course. As more people use cell phone, things are only going to get worse. So the, the next time you are getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. Perfect. Yeah, very important. Yeah, so important. Uh -huh. Right. This is like some rules that you can um take on when you are in a public place or in a crowded place where is so many people. And I think it's important. Off means off. Like 
if a public place says no cell phones, it's no cell phones, right? You need to turn off or um saving mm -hmm. in your, I don't know, in your right. pocket or something, right? Keep private conversation, private. I, I know that's a little a little difficult with this because for example, when you see a, a friend and you go to for when you go for a lunch, for example, and you are talking about it, you can um you can talk about your private life, like um something what happens with your child with your children or with your um husband, your wife, your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, right? Or something like this. So maybe we can try to speak softly, right? Como más suavecito. Lights off, fun off. Okay, never take calls in a theater or a movie. That's so important. Mm -hmm. And pay right. attention. Mm -hmm. did, did, did someone? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Okay. So the last one is like paying attention, right? Um, You need to, to be focused in what you are uh, doing in that moment. So you have to be, you have to take care of yourself and um the other people and try not to, to talk when you are driving, for example, because this is so dangerous. And maybe when you are walking, it's like no pretty recommended because you are like, you can be so distracted and not to see a car or something like that. I know mm -hmm. that... um cars well the drivers sometimes are very crazy and they don't stop but we need like to take care okay of ourselves porque ellos no lo van a hacer al menos los de los microbuses no lo hacen so yeah Vicente yeah uh, some difference uh, happened in my office because when um, when a workmate um, make or wants to make a cell phone, a, ce a cell phone calls, they take out and 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 make the the call out of our office. Okay. Because because he he doesn't want to he doesn't want to we know <laughs> about <laughs> he about he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, I think it was a really good reading and we can have like or um reflect um like a little considerations about it. So first of all, I need to know if someone of you have any questions about the vocabulary. No? No. Everything is cool? Everything, everything good. Okay, perfect. So I we're going to stop here and getting back to the presentation. Can you see it? The man in the picture is not happy. Sorry? The man in the picture is not happy. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy. Yeah, we can see that they are like mad right <laughs> yeah he's angry yeah he's so angry okay so we're going to check these statements that uh, the writer of the um of the reading that the reading we about to read um will probably agree with so we're going to see like what you are agreed with okay so vamos a leer como uno cada uno, hasta que lleguemos a los ocho y me van a decir si están de acuerdo o no con esa, esa, ese statement, ¿ok? So, who wants to be the first one? Raise your hand, ¿quién quiere leer la primera? Um, ¿Ya? Yeah, Vicente, ok, excelente. Okay. Read the, the first, first one. one. ¡Qué bonito! You should never use a cell phone in public. Okay. You should never use a cell phone in public. What do you think about it? Vicente? Well, it depends because if we are in a hurry, maybe we can. But maybe if if uh, the, the call is not uh, confidence, 
or uh, we can we can we can do an or uh, a short call, I guess. Yeah, it can be, of course. Yeah, I mean, like um, maybe to say like um, um, to say like you should never use a cell phone in public is like I don't know. I I think like it's overreacting, but. Um, you should use it when you know that it's okay, and mm -hmm. you can take um take on and um, or con in with the with the rules of the place that you are in that moment, right? In a public mm -hmm. place, porque puede ser yeah, una right. plaza y, y nadie tiene, o sea, no no es que le estorbe a alguien que usted está en el teléfono, or maybe yeah, right. you are in the theater or in the uh -huh. Uh -huh, restaurants or a movie uh -huh. or in a meeting yeah of course that's right thank you so much okay, okay. había otra manita levantada para leer la segunda who, who was nobody <laughs> guys you there Edgar. me teacher Ok, Edgar, luego Aixia, luego José Oscar, ok? Ok. Edgar, go with this, with the okay. second. Cell phone users are very rude people. Ok, what do you think about it? Uh, sorry, I don't know, depend on the people, right? In right. my case, I, I'm not rude people. I know I'm not rude person in the phone okay yeah i think like not all the users can be rude i mean someone can be rude right you, i don't know yeah. if you found you already found someone in like public transportation who was screaming while he is calling um and that really it's it, that that's really annoying when you heard that but not all the users right right yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. Root, root the people I, I, are, um, I guess, is the the people that don't follow the the rules in places. Yeah, maybe. I guess. Or, or they are like um loudmouth, como bocones. Mm -hmm. like que muy yeah, fuerte. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Edgar, ¿sí me estaba diciendo? No, just uh, I was talking about the last time that I was listening. A girl that she was speaking by the phone and she was crying. In oh the bus. My. Yeah. yeah oh you my say God. need care. You said she said I was I just want to care me and listen to me and crying. Oh, I, <laughs> I was listening right all now. the conversation. <laughs> yeah, and you were like listening all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gonna in that moment I feel like to give it a uh oh you are crying too my friend no I I, I don't know I would say abrazar um to to hug you offer oh. your shoulder yeah <laughs> okay. I can help you I said <laughs> excellent I my friend you yeah. are very polite I I yeah. will I will cry <laughs> in your in your place. I will cry <laughs> too. And and all the people in the bus, uh, watching face to face, yeah. and one people, uh, laughing and other just, uh, oh my God, what happened? What happened? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. They're the first first reaction. Yeah. yeah. I could be that that girl in the public transportation sometimes, <laughs> so maybe maybe it will be me. <laughs> Podría ser yo. <laughs> I, I don't know, but she she wanted love. Yeah, I'm okay. so sorry for her. Okay, uh, I think Axia was the 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 next one, and then Jose Oscar, right? Go Axia with the third one. Store off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Okay. What do you think about it? Um, 
Well, it's a it's a play when when they recusing the depends on the place. For example, in the hospital. Um. And uh, what do you say, funeraria? Poner qué? Funeraria. Pon poner a dónde? Funeraria. Funeraria. <laughs> ah, voy a. Yo escuchaba como poner y no escuchaba el que iba a poner. Um, I think like you can use like the mortuary. Ah, the mortuary. Uh -huh. the mortuary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, All the places are in banks, I guess. Yeah, in banks, for example, you need to, of course. Okay. Thank you so much. I agree to ask you. Yeah. Okay, Jose okay. Oscar with the four, please. <laughs> Hey, turn off. Turn off the cell phones right now, yeah. <laughs> you are in class. <laughs> you are in class, of course. Okay, Jose Oscar, could you please read it? Okay, okay. You should challenge people who talk to loud, loudly on cell phones. What do you think about it? Don't want to participate. Ch challenge. But the many. Like challenge the, is como retar. Desafío. Uh -huh. No. No, no, no. <laughs> you may uh, run away. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't challenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Of course. And, and, and you don't want to. Wait, you don't want to date, talk too loud, right? Of course, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, agree. Okay, who wants to be the number five? I can help you if you want. Okay, let's go. Number five, it's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car. No, okay. it's not okay. Think? Not okay. No, it's not okay. We are driving. We are focused in uh, in the in, way <laughs> on the way, right? <laughs> and and the people around. Yeah, it can be so dangerous for you and for the people who is outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, also important is if we are driving in 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 the car are some some families. Yeah. Are, a exactly. danger. Yeah, it can be dangerous for all the family, of course. All right, of You're course. Right. Not, not it's okay, but all the time you can see in the street a lot of people using the phone when mm -hmm. they are driving. Just estaba a punto de darle un carro por estar viendo el teléfono para cambiar la la <laughs> canción. Mm. So don't do that. Don't do that. Oh that's my so, god. That, that's so. What example? Irresponsable. <laughs> Yeah, don't do that. Un, hubo una vez que quería cambiar la canción y estaba en tráfico, entonces iba como de poquito en poquito avanzando y de repente como que iba avanzando se me olvidó que estaba en tráfico y casi le doy al, al de enfrente. Oh my God. It was like, oh my God. What color is your car? I've been watching. Gray. <laughs> It's gray. Yeah. What is the... What is... I don't remember. What is the, I, I just What don't is the brand? Gray. Where is the brand? <laughs> I don't know. It's that's just great. It's a great little car. But I, I hope that my mom haven't listened to me. Espero que mami no me haya escuchado. Maybe maybe you want to listen to close the Bay door. Taylor Swift. Yeah, I was I was list I was listening Taylor Swift, but I I, I needed to change the the. The song, and no sé por qué se me ocurrió hacerlo mientras estaba avanzando. No sé. It was so irresponsible of me. Yo sé que fue bien irresponsable, pero no, no choqué. No worry, y me quedó de, aprend de, apre de aprendizaje. <laughs> okay, so agree, not. Okay, number six. Could Edgar help me to read? Sure. Number six. You can use a cell phone in the public if you speak quickly. Okay. What well, do you think? I think that you can 
use the cell phone if you if you use a receive a call and uh, it's a little conversation right for something quickly mm -hmm. i think that you can use the cell phone. if you know it's a long conversation yeah maybe uh it depends of the of the um situation of, that you are uh-huh the situation you are in the, and the place too and the place too of course yeah for okay. example uh some cases in my case uh when i'm in a bank and i receive a, a cell uh a call i say hey, hey, hey i'm in the bank i will call back later Ah, okay, yeah. Like to to answer and let them people Weekly. know that mm -hmm. you are busy right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's right. Thank you so much. Okay, could Axia help me to read the seven one? Uh, uh, don't don't show into the phone. Okay, what do you think? Shout about like to scream, gritar. Sí, yes. Um, Don't shout. Uh, <laughs> I agree. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Well, I. Um, bueno, yo sí grito, pues, porque a veces no escucho a la gente, pero. Pero no me gusta. O cuando hay mucho ruido, right? <laughs> I don't like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I understand, but we, we can try to not shout, right? Okay, I'm agree with you. And Teacher, the last one, yeah? Uh, if you have a problem to hear or to listen something, the person that have this problem, how would you say that no escucha o tiene problema? Like you say, I'm having issues with my cell phone, for example. Tengo como problemas con el teléfono. I can hear you. No, te puedo no escuchar. tiene problemas. Tiene problemas con el oído personal. <risa> <risa> ¿Qué es el problema de la persona? No? Del... Ah, el problema de la persona. You can uh -huh. say, I, I don't know. <risa> I don't Take know. Take before. Ah. Uh, sí. uh, <risa> What <risa> well you're... Mm -hmm. My my ear is doesn't working properly. See? <laughs> okay, your ear. Um, I, I can hear it. I can hear. <laughs> yeah, Something I will strange. say only Inside. I can hear. <laughs> okay, and the last one, please, Jose Oscar, help me to read the last one. You there? It's mute, I guess. Can you hear me now? Jose Oscar. Okay, let me see. Carla Herrera, can you help me with the last one? In Jasmine, what? <laughs> the ultima. This. The last one. Don't stand close to other people when you are using a cell phone. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Just in close. Yes. Are you agree with this or not? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Vicente? Yes, I'm agree because I don't want to other people hear me my 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 calls. Yeah, of course. Because you don't want they, to. They, they don't care about my situation. About your business, right? <laughs> right, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And after maybe, you receive the call, maybe they will copy my my business or my. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it can be. Yeah, Edgar. No, uh, after you receive the call, your friend uh, close to you, and. Ask, hey, what happened? What he or she told you? Siempre hay alguien que pregunta qué pasó. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh, right. Yeah. It sometimes it happens, like in home, right? Alguien le llama a mamá y le digo, ¿quién es? Y me dice, mentira. 
<laughs> yeah, so uh, that's your it's, business, right? Your business. It's not your business, she uh, says. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tus asuntos, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we did it so great with this. I'm going to talk to you about the reduction of cold wool in you. We're going to uh, read about the reduced modal verbs with cold, with cold, and with should. Hay eh, esta reducción de los modal verbs es en la es en la les decía que hay un montón de contracciones contracciones hay un montón en el inglés un montón y ustedes ya han visto varias sí como las que son de los sujetos con el verbo to be um, el would el cada uno de los modal verbs con su negativo y así justo como habíamos dicho que por ejemplo había unos modal verbs que no podíamos reducir como may not que no se puede decir may verdad solo se dice may not Um, las personas para hablar, sí, en el inglés a veces cortan las oraciones. En vez de decir, will you um, call me later? For example, will you call me later? Dirían, will you call me later? Will you? Ok, como si lo acortaran, como si dijera, will you en una sola palabra, sí. Ok. Les quiero contar que esto solamente pasa con you and he. En la parte de would, could, and should, que es lo que vamos a ver hoy. No pasa con I, no pasa con eh, you, no, perdón, no pasa con they, no pasa con we, no pasa con she, no pasa con it. Solo con you y con, eh, eh, solo sí. con you y con he, tú y él. ¿Ok? Would mm -hmm. you, will he. Se diría would como he. would you. Es, que es would como, you. Como decirlo, acuérdate. Would you. Would you. Ajá. Uh, would you. Would you. Would you. Okay, repeat one, everyone, would, would you? He? Would you? Would you? Would you? <laughs> would you? Okay. And the, the other one. one. Repeat, would he? Would he? Would he? Would he? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whis okay. Whiskey? Whiskey? <laughs> no. <laughs> This is... Not whiskey. Would you? Would you? <laughs> would you? Would, would you? he? Yeah. Could you? Could you? Uh -huh. The next one is could he? Could he? Like could he? Okay. The other one is should you? Should you? Should you? Should you? Should you? Uh huh. Exactly. Should you. And okay. should he? Should he? Yeah, but in Chinese. <laughs> Sí parece, parece japonés, pero no, es solamente que eh, hay algunas palabras que cuando las personas, que es como cuando se dice con gona, iguana, es la contracción de decir going to, solo dicen I wanna wanna, y ya, toda la oración, right? So, a veces pasa con la pronunciación de las palabras que la gente lo acorta y usted quizás a veces no entiende que acaban de decir, no porque no sepa qué es esa palabra, sino porque la cortaron, y en vez de decir Would you le dijeron would you? Y usted como, ¿qué? What's that? ¿Eh? Que es un sholhi, right? <laughs> yeah. So What it's a contraction. Say? This is a reduced modal verb. Y pasa solo con you, con he. Okay? And would, could, and should. Do you have any questions about it? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta acerca de los reduced modal verbs? In the practice, we don't, we're going to know or we're going to learn. Yeah, And of course. Teacher. And all of these uh, new things, new uh, short uh, modal words or phrases that the people short the, the sentence, uh, most of the time the, the younger people use this kind of things, right? Yeah, it's so common. And it's completely normal. It, it, even you can use it to, to sound more natural when you are talking in English, of course. Your English is going to sound more, um, mm, more native. Se parece más al nativo porque, pues, así aprendieron a hablar. <laughs> right? So, yes. se parece más. Yeah, esto es, que, esto es algo puramente de pronunciación y que tienen que saberlo porque va a pasar. No, eh, no lo van a escribir así como se los escribí, right? Esto es solo de pronunciación. Sí, solo de pronunciación. Aclaro, totalmente. Okay. 
<ríe> esto no es, no, no es para que lo vayan a escribir a algún lado, sino que esto es solo de pronunciación para que usted sepa por si lo escucha, que, lo, que escucha que ni siquiera dicen la palabra completa, sino que la reducen. Sí, eso pasa un montón, pasa un montón. So es para que usted sepa y lo pronuncie también, pero no para que lo vaya a escribir así, right No lo vaya a escribir okay. así. <ríe> Después van a decirle, teacher me enseñó que yo podía escribir shulgi como shulgi, literal así. <ríe> Chucky. Uh -huh, yeah. And it sounds like a Japanese word, right? But no. <laughs> oh. yeah, but no, it's just pronunciation. Esto es solo pronunciación. Okay. So okay. Para que ustedes sepan. Okay. So, uh, do you have any, any questions about it? No. It's okay. 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 So, we're going to do a little activity. This is going to write a message. Vamos a hacer lo mismo. Quiere que lo tomen capta. Captura de pantalla para las personitas que estén en la misma sala puedan hacer rellenarme como el cuadrito. Poner a quién va dirigida la carta, el día, la hora, de quién, la ciudad, aquí de City. El número de la persona, aquí no le pongan nada, esto es como la extensión del país. Y el mensaje, como you should call me for Christmas, for example. Y ocupar los reduce modal verbs. Taken by es quien lo recibió. Puedo ser un secretario, su mamá en la casa, mi hermana, right? El punto es llenar la tarjetita, la tarjetita de, de, de mis ages, ¿ok? Mientras estabas fuera, dice aquí, while you were out, ¿ok? So, do you understand this exercise? Yes, only a, a favor. Could you please um, show us The last um, sli slide. This? Yeah, right. Yeah, because I need a. The screen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Take it. Of course. Thank you very much. It's a okay. pleasure. Okay. So, y los demás ya le tomaron captura para que lo llenen. Okay. Todo puede ser We're inventado. Use guys. It. <laughs> Ajá, todo inventado. O sea, no, no tiene que ser real, right? It's just an exercise. Okay, okay. so. I'm going to put you into the breakup room and here we go. Okay, get in. Get into the breakup rooms, please. Miss, I can go. Ok, permítame la mago.
Now, can you?
Okay. Hey guys, I'm sorry that um, no tuvimos demasiado tiempo para hacer el ejercicio. Um, espero que lo hayan logrado terminar y lo vamos a socializar mañana. So tell me, do you have any questions about the things that we saw today? No, only in the format. Uh, for example, <clears throat> it says from El Salvador, I guess. Yeah, you can say like a, a the country other one, or a people. The, and the other one is off. What is off? Where? In a city. In the example, it says off city. Ah. Um, ciudad. Como a, la, a qué ciudad? A qué ciudad va? Ah, el destino. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Okay. Is there any Only that questions? Only that teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, a pleasure. So I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. See you. Okay, see you. Good night. Bye, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.